1983年マレーシアで技術と文化と開発をテーマにした国際シンポジウムが開かれましたその開会式で当時のマレーシア首相マハティール氏と本田基建工業株式会社の創業者本田総一郎が同席当時マハティール氏にはマレーシアの国家建設のために日本の経験から学ぶというルックインスト構想がありましたそして本田側にも本田としてアジアの人材育成に貢献するという考えがありましたこの2人の出会いが東南アジアの優秀な若者に対する研修プログラムイアッツフォーラム設立のきっかけとなったのですそして本田総一郎と藤沢武雄当時本田技研工業株式会社の最高顧問であった2人が東南アジアの人材育成のために基金を提供しました1985年9月17日イアッツフォーラムはいよいよ第1回の開校式を迎えました研修生はマレーシアから12名フランスからのオープン参加者1名そしてホンダからの日本人超高生2名を含む総勢15名研修生たちにとってはもちろんフォーラム側の関係者にとっても3ヶ月の研修プログラムは新しい発見の連続でしたイアツフォーラムへの参加国は年々増えていきました最初はマレーシアの1カ国でしたが2002年にミャンマーが加わったところで ASEAN9 カ国となり現在に至っていますは名古屋かからおよそ50キロ三重県鈴鹿市にある国際レーシングコース鈴鹿サーキットの敷地の中に新たに建設されましたたちが長期間滞在する施設は西洋的なプライバシーの確保と東洋的な触れ合いの融合というコンセプトで作られました研修棟宿泊棟食堂を兼ねた構成棟の3棟からなりコンピュータールーム図書室ミーティングルームのほかに娯楽室やラウンジなどで構成されていますまた研修生にイスラム教徒が多いことを考えて礼拝室も作られました威圧フォーラムのプログラムには20講義以上のセミナーやフィールドワークが含まれていますその分野は日本の近代化、歴史、社会、科学、産業技術、経済、文化、そして東南アジアと日本の関係論などに及び各セミナーではプレゼンテーションやグループ討議で研修生たちが講師を交えて意見を交換します第10回から取り入れられたグループ研究では研修生がいくつかのグループに分かれ提示されたテーマについて共同で研究を進めます。ここでは研修生たちの日頃の問題意識が試されるのと同時に協調性や自主性が求められますまた鈴鹿での研修だけでは日本の実態を知るには不十分と考え東京地域や関西地域などへの視察旅行を実施しています。フォーラムが回を重ねるに従って同窓生の数も増えていきました同窓生たちは各国で同窓会活動を展開していますインドネシアの同窓会は市や警察署と協力して幼稚園や
小学校で交通教育を行っていますフィリピンでもホンダの現地法人の協力を得てトライシクルのドライバーの交通教育を実施しています。そしてカンボジアの同窓会は個人院で英語教育を行っています。イヤッツフォーラムが各国でより多くの人々に理解されるためには同窓会活動が重要なキーポイントとなるでしょう。The EATS Forum cooperates with our counterparts in each country. There is an EATS Forum country committee, a secretariat, and an alumni association who give strong support to the EATS Forum's activities, including the EATS Forum program, final interview, and alumni activities. For the development of the program's contents and the promotion of alumni activities, we hold international meetings regularly, such as secretariat's meetings. Chairpersons meetings and alumni meetings. In June 2013, the seventh international alumni meeting took place in Hanoi, Vietnam. Around 80 alumni from nine ASEAN countries participated in this event. Questionnaires were conducted with the alumni in order to investigate how the EATS Forum has affected their lives. And what they expect from the forum. The results were reported by the president of the alumni in Vietnam to the attendees. The results of the seventh alumni meeting were summarized as the Hanoi Declaration 2013, which is based on the contents of the Suzuka Declaration 2012, a pledge to foster further cooperation among related people. And to pass down the spirit of the EATS Forum from generation to generation was also made. We were delighted to hear that the alumni of the EATS Forum had effectively utilized the experiences and human network that they had acquired during the forum, and we are hoping that they will continue to do so and bring further prosperity to the ASEAN region. As a part of the EATS Forum's 30th anniversary in 2015, two key events were held an international chairpersons meeting in November and an international alumni meeting in December. The 11th EATS Forum chairpersons meeting was held in Suzuka, inviting chairpersons from respective country committees. During the meeting, the EATS Forum's new vision, Beyond 2015, And plan of operations were shared. At the same time, both Japan and respective country parties proposed action plans over the next 10 years and confirmed the shared targets both parties need to work on. In December, the 8th International Alumni Meeting was held in Yangon, Myanmar. The meeting itself was expanded beyond a regular international alumni meeting, and approximately 150 attendees, including EATS Forum alumni members, chairpersons from respective country committees, and other guests attended. The discussion from the EATS Forum International Chairpersons Meeting held a month before was also carried over to Yangon, and each alumni association discussed and proposed action plans based on the EATS Forum's new vision and plan of operations. Throughout this meeting, the network and friendship beyond countries were strengthened. And the need for reinforcing further partnership between Japan and respective countries was also confirmed. In 2018, EATS Forum welcomed the 60th batch of participants, 
and that marked a total of 1,049 alumni members who have completed EAT's forum program since its establishment in 1985. In December, we held the 9th IAM in Luang Pabang, Laos. Nearly 120 participants gathered, and presidents of each alumni association shared their recent alumni activities and projects, and participants could learn about the good initiatives of each country. Participants then discussed the further development of the EADS Forum and Alumni Associations towards 2025. For the first time, we included a field study as well as small group discussions. These activities led to lively and profound discussions and resulted in useful outcomes, including good practices, solutions for the shared issues, and new ideas for further development. Based on the outcomes of the group discussions, the Luan Paban Declaration was made and signed by presidents of 10 alumni associations. With that, all participants shared the same dedication to strengthen their alumni associations.